Welcome to Kitty Plays Morrowind. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be the host for this episode. So as you'll see, this is the first episode of a new recording, so let's go ahead and load the game. Also, it's been quite some time, so let's see where we ended up <laughs> at the end of last recording. Oh, okay. Now that I see this guy, I basically want to stop playing again. Um, so this is the guy that I need to... Yeah, the, the, the quest where, where he wants me to either side with him and kill the woman who's in the major Guild, which I'm going to kill, thusly, that girl over there. Or I say I side with her and then he wants to kill me, so I have to f defend myself. Um, we died multiple times here and I'm going to try a different approach. I'm going to try the shield. So once he's where is it here? Once he's hit myself, uh, hit me. I'm going to activate the shield, or I'm going to activate right before I right before I talk to him actually, um, and then hoping that he won't hit me as often and that I can actually then kill him. We will see if that is um, a strategy that works. If that doesn't work, well, we'll see what we have to do. So, I'm struggling with the buttons, I think. Spark is active. Let's ask. I will we'll leave social. You're growing weak. He's going to attack I me. will bathe in your blood. Not enough magicka to cast the spell. As you can see, this is basically. I need to run away. Thatcher. Yeah, Give in. This is You're dead my, already. My fatigue is so low. Is it fatigue or endurance? Uh, it says how tired. Yeah, yeah, low fatigue. My fatigue is so low that it um, that the chance that I cast the spell successfully is pretty low. Also, and there he goes. I'm going to do this too because he's hitting me all the time. And um, whenever he hit, successfully hits me, I don't just lose. Um, I don't just lose magicka, and that's it. We're out of magic. I think this was. Well, now I need to find out what button to hit. This was the one to. You will die where you stand. Yeah, now I will. My fatigue is nearly empty, and basically now I'm back in the loop. Back in the loop where he just knocks me down and I can't do anything. It'll be your blood here, not mine. So I'm going to try to heal anyhow. Because I'm just thinking if I go up to the woman, will she help me? I I actually doubt it. I think not even guards will help me because I provoked him. And now he's hitting me so often that I don't even get up. My fatigue is zero, I'm falling, I'm, I'm laying on the ground, and I can't do anything. Now I've got the chance to get up, and I'm falling down again. This is basically exactly what happens. Okay, I'm thinking of some unorthodox way now. Um, so, doing a crime only counts as a crime if someone sees you, so if I go far enough away... I don't need to wait for him to hit me first. So basically the idea is to just... In the end, what I would need is more potions to restore fatigue. So I could try heading somewhere and get more of these, but I think I'm out of money. No, I'm not out of money. 1,900, okay. So more restore fatigue potions would actually help me a lot. Because this means I can, and and restore magicka, so I can actually go and um, and zap him more. But of course, this means more going back and forth business. Let's hope this wolf that we heard doesn't attack. Well, on the other on the other hand, we we are pretty strong. 
As you can see in the upper left corner, we are already below 30 FPS. Which, I never fail to mention, is still way more than I had when I played this game originally. And I personally think the game is so awesome that I don't care at all. I just need to re-figure out which buttons are which. Are you coming? The thing is, if I lose him, then I, I will never find him again. He will stand where, where he stopped noticing where I am. He will just stand there, wait for me, and if I don't know where he is, then I will basically just search for him forever and not be able to finish that quest. So here we are in Caldera. So now the, the um, guards help me with the, with the cliff racers and stuff, but I'm pretty sure they didn't help me with um, other things. Training doesn't help me because it only affects the chances at which I cast the spells. Not the I spell can spare cost. a few moments if you care to talk. So cure, dispel, water breathing, fire resistance. Fortify fatigue could be interesting. Fortify magicka also, but only if I get the magicka full. Restore fatigue is good. Oh, that could be an interesting approach. Levitating over him and shooting him with with um, so uh, shooting him with the spark, so he can't um, attack me. Let's let's actually try that one. I can use these two anyhow. Okay, that's that. So we're going to float over him. Let's give them a little bit more. Ah, friend! How does the I also want to be able to restore no, these are spells. Restore my magic. Spell. Three blessings, Sarah. A reflect could also be interesting. So he, he basically hits himself. That's also awesome. Restoring health and fatigue, 200 points. So these scrolls don't cost any magicka. And always, they, they always... Uh, they never fail. They always succeed. That was where I was looking for. Ah, come on. Oh, let's have a few of these ready. Okay, now let's see. How may I help you, Kajit? We're just going someplace rather secluded. So I'm still going to try let let him hit me first to get the um, to not get any penalty from from killing someone who's innocent. Those two are fighting. 
He's, he's hitting with the eye, but he's not. There we go. No. That was, ah, that was the low fatigue. That was the toppled over of the Kwama Forager. See? There we go. How does it feel to know death is near? hurts him which is good if we want to kill him like he's already pre-damaged to be honest I was afraid of hitting him and then being like accused of, of attacking him randomly okay now let's heal up there we go drop a little quick save so now what we're doing is... It's 30 seconds from the time when we use the potion, so let's try. You will die where you stand. You will die where you stand. Okay, I need to walk straight up. You fight unfair. This bout is over. Yes, I do fight unfair. Um, and I'm unable to aim at the thieves. Well, that was two hits. And that's time up. can't use because I'm laying on the ground. That was uh, not very intolerant for me. Because I can't I can't switch between the um, weapon and the magic and cast the magic in the time that he that he hits me again. And since he's walking around me this is also one thing since he's walking around me. When I get up, I first need to find him to attack him again. You will die where you stand. Yeah, most probably. See, I just moved like a fraction of the circle. Okay, so this does not help at all. Let's try something else. I know we did try paralyzing him first. And I'm still going to do this. The paralyzation only holds for only holds for um, three seconds, though. You've been attacked by something else. Oh, there we go. You're growing weak. Okay, I'll 
else. Honestly, if we fail casting shield once, it costs too much magic because I'm... This is too easy! Ah, oh, that could also be interesting. Oh, I can't talk to him now. Bye! And another try. Okay, so I want to the shield. I want to talk to him. Talk to him. How does it feel to know death is... There we go. Basically, it gives us one free... Per, um, one free attack. You will die where you stand. Enough magic card. Bye. Mm, do we have enough for this? Thirty-one. It, it costs twenty. Yes, we have. You're growing weak. And now let's hope that we can actually kill him off with a knife. No, he's not dead yet. I'm for a How does it feel to know death is near? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm asking you, because you're the one who has only like one hit point left. It'll be your blood here, not mine. But yeah, that's that's exactly the problem. It will be my blood now because he's got me now. I couldn't have yeah, I couldn't have done the paralysis. Anything else I could actually do. Healing is not possible. Okay, I actually would have had the sparks in me. <gasps> but I tried on because I knew it was only one hit left, and there we are. Nicky guy. Rest until healed. Quick save. And now let's head back to our friend that we wanted to save from the rapist. There is, there is Caldera, and we're heading this way. I'm curious what she is going to say. Oh, she's, she's thankful. Could be that she basically doesn't recognize that we killed him, because um, sometimes the quest system doesn't fully recognize things like these, especially if um, this could be one thing that happens if he didn't attack me first. Game basically saying, no, you did not resolve the quest. I am unsure where to go. I'm unsure where he is, to be honest. Especially in this fog, it's hard to... Um, Navigate. That's a mine. I think we're on the wrong track. On the other side, I think she was around some bend, and this is a bend that we can go around. And be attacked. Where is our enemy? I didn't want to tell I Maybe when I now wait a little bit and heal myself. The fog will be gone. Yes. This makes it way easier for me to recognize where I am. Mm. 
And of course, once you start streaming, your nose itches all the time. <laughs> the typical problems that you have. So I know it was a route which looked like this. And then kind of around the bend. Let me just... This is somewhere where I haven't been before. Let me just real quick activate the map so I can see where I've already been. This will make navigating more easy. So I guess it's the other the other path in this fork. Mm -hmm. It is, there's the red that we passed. Then we passed on our way back. And now the question is, is it left or right? I think it was in these mountains. And it looks like it. We have been fully. Yeah, there she is. We, we stopped when we met her. So I can turn off the map again. Come on. Hello, Sosha. I'm always taking care of your little problem. If she. I'm sorry to hear that he's dead, but he was a fool. Such is the way fools meet their end, and I will take Cloud Cleaver to one who can handle its power. Yeah, what about Cloud Cleaver? Halomar's obsession with that axe led to his death. I leave it with someone who can use it well. I thank you for your help, stranger. I think that hothead would have killed me had you not intervened. Here, take these potions as my gift to you, and seek me out if you ever require my services in the future. Ooh, restore health and, re and restore fatigue. Very nice. Yes. Okay, so one thing that I did, let me just um, walk past her a little bit, so her AI trigger doesn't uh, trigger all the time. Um, one thing that I did was um, I switched over the to-do list of quests that we have to solve into one that is also running on my phone so I don't have to switch apps. So I'm now crossing off that quest from the list and checking which one to do next for this. I'm going to check the map because I don't want to run. Okay, this, this is where Aldrun is. This is very good because I have some things around Aldrun. And for example, let's look for the husband of that woman west of the entrance to Eldrun. Of course, for this we have to first travel to Eldrun. Which is, yep, this way. So, we are on our pause walking to the nice city of Eldrun. And I think when we arrive there, we should just, uh, no, that's the wrong button. When we arrive there, we should just look out for quests in the city. I always press R to rest instead of T. And R is the ready magic button. There we go. We're a pretty powerful mage now. Only bane that we have is hand-to-hand um, -hand combat. Just be cautious and drop quick saves all quick saves all over the place. So our defense isn't that well. There's another seemingly naked guy. I hope it's not that Lothar guy who respawned, that would be pretty awful. 
Let's see, who is that? Heisen Deep Raid. Red? Deep Red? I don't think... Nope. I don't have him on my quest log. I guess he's also someone who wants to fight us, so I'm going to drop a quick save and check him out. Damn the witches! Oh, not again. Oh! Oh yes, he want to... He want to have a potion of cure common disease. Right. There was something else. I forgot to put him onto my list, so let's just add him. That's is in deep red. Potion. Oh, come on. That's that's the disadvantage of play, typing on your phone. Of cure common disease. Okay, so sorry, so we don't forget them. Because I don't have one of these potions handy now, and it needs to be a bought potion, not a self-made one, also. So let's head on to the... onto the city, and then... It sounds like we're being attacked. Of course, a strong mage like us is not intimidated by one of these creatures. we go. So quick travel is not possible from here. I could travel quick travel to the nearest fort or temple. And I don't know which one would be selected by the game then. So this is the only quick travel thing that is available. It's like magic. Okay, we are going that way and I'm trying to just attack that one. That's what happens when you try to attack a random uh, enemy. There we go. But that's what happens when you succeed doing so. And there it is, Aldrun. Also from here we can take Silt Strider services to other places. So we are looking for the husband of a woman. And I know that I, in previous runs of this game, I know that I completed this quest successfully multiple times. So basically each time. But this time I know I've searched for him at least twice and didn't find him. Just kind of weird. So this is this is her. This is the woman who asks us to find her husband, who has been attacked by three guars, I think. Uh, the wild mix sounds. Exactly. The wild mix sounds. Make it quick, so Outlander. Let's take a look at the journal. At least three of them. They seemed to come out of nowhere. My husband, Dreril and Darren, tried to fight them off, but they were too much for him, and he was forced to flee. I tried to play dead in hopes the hounds would find no sport in me. I just hope I can find Dreril before the hounds come back. Okay, I'm sure he didn't go too far. That I remember is true. He doesn't. Uh, he's not that far away from her. So let us just walk east and check if we can see someone. So there's 
doesn't seem to be anybody here. I know she gave, in the original text, she gave me a direction. I'm pretty sure it was west. But to be honest, if it, if I'm so sure it was west and we have looked multiple times and didn't find him, maybe uh, that's the wrong information. somewhere on a road like not directly on it but it should be able to see him from the road that's a core uh, not three nick sounds investigate this sound and that is a nick sound yes could be one of the three but then there would be two others So it doesn't seem like it. That one too. I'm going to keep the map invisible again so I know where I have already searched. So this is kind of this is one of the tedious more tedious quests if you if you don't stumble across him by chance which I usually did so I, I just walked there and there he was so I never ever thought about that quest much I just yeah he's he's in that direction let's follow the road in this direction and then somewhere you will just see him Which is back, which means which means the attack is dead if you want to heal. Also, I just remembered we are missing our potions now. But this is two Nick sounds. Could be that we're pulling them one by one. We don't have the potions anymore, so we can't recharge our uh, magic down. Nope. The advantage of having spells that are run into the distance. Uh, back there is another Nick sound. And I know that we have to find him and then lead him back to his wife, basically. Trying to take the um, 
cliff racers before they actually attack me because they are so annoying. makes it doesn't make it easier. Okay, let's head down the road to the left. <laughs> so just for reference for all of you, okay, this is just an entrance to the mine. Just for reference for all of you. Um, this is the uh, beginning of September 2020, still during the COVID-19 COVID time. And I'm recording this. And this is why I hit the, uh, the mountain. It's all due to COVID. Sorry. It's not because I'm done. No. rolling dice rolling uh, mechanics you spam the attack button and you only hit every 20th time as I said they are annoying the thing that's annoying about them actually is that there are so many of them. Like you walk a few steps and then there is another one. Let's get up on top of this hill. This little... Yeah, well, I think the hill is perfect word for it. To see if we can find him. Casting a spell and then, then magic running out of magic. It's just my luck. on the map and thought it was the place that I wanted to be. Okay, you know what? I am going to end this episode here and off the record head back to Aldrun and thus we will see each other when I'm back at Aldrun. So yeah, today we finally have defeated the naked guy, um, avenged the attempted rape, and now we're trying to find the husband of that nice lady in front of the Eldrin Gates, and we will continue doing so next episode. 
So, to all of you on YouTube, bye-bye.